Hey guys, Callie Fab here, and today I am going to show you the second round of my January sample project pan update. I'm doing well, but my partner in crime on Instagram, Stacey, she's doing like so much better than me, and she's doing a really good job posting. So what she's doing is on her Instagram feed, she's only posting 10 items at a time. That way it's not too like overwhelming. And then she lists out each of the items and explains what it was good for, what it wasn't good for, if she would repurchase it, if she wouldn't. So I highly recommend that you guys go and check out her Instagram. Once again, I will leave it right here and I will leave it linked below as well. So you guys need to check her out. She is awesome and she's just such a good person. So anyways, on to my sample empties. The last time, if you guys recall, I had eight empties. This time I only have six, but I have so many empties that I'm like in the process of. So if you guys want to see that, like the process samples that I'm using, the ones that are taking like weeks <laughs> to finish up, and I mean literal weeks, then just let me know and I can show you guys my next one, all of my samples that I have progress on. And I have been trying to remember to mark how many uses I'm getting out of each sample to see if that, you know, 90 cent sample was worth the three uses it got or whatever. So that way I can kind of break down the prices a little bit better for myself. So yeah, let's get into these sample empties. Like I said, there's only six, so this should run through pretty quickly for you guys. So here we go. The first item that I have for you guys is the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula with Vitamin E, and it is the Coconut Oil Facial Moisturizer. This stuff was phenomenal, like literally phenomenal. It was so nice and hydrating on the skin. I used it at night and in the daytime. I always know when a moisturizer is good is if I can use it at night and in the morning. Um, I loved this. I would repurchase this in a heartbeat. So this little sample, this like little foil tearaway packet, I actually got 18 uses out of and I marked it here on the back. And I loved this. <laughs> like, this was one of the best products I've tried in a really, really long time. I wrote it on my list to repurchase one day. Yeah, I mean, it was awesome. I think you can find this at like Target, Walmart, stuff like that, like, you know, big stores. And this little sample packet, if I would have purchased this myself, it would have been 90 cents. And that would be literally the best 90 cents I've ever bought such a great moisturizer. It didn't feel tacky or sticky on my skin. It didn't feel oily at all. It sunk right in, but it was very moisturizing and hydrating on the skin. So good. I could rave about all this all day and I will purchase another one once I get some of these moisturizers used up. So good. The next sample I have is the Orbe shampoo and conditioner for shine and brilliance. And these little sample packs were only one single use for me personally. Um, honestly, this was really nice on the hair. It was really hydrating. I only got one use out of it, so I only had one little bit to try it out. And unfortunately, I was in the OR all day that day that I actually ended up using it, which means that my hair was up in a pony like it is now, and it was in a scrub cap and a bouffant, and it was up all day. So I didn't really get to notice if it was like feeling good throughout the day, but I did notice when I took my hair down, it felt really really nice and really hydrated. It did get a little bit like staticky and I think that might have been because I washed it and it was supposed to be for like shine so it had extra oil in it. I'm not exactly sure but it did seem a little bit staticky after this. This is very very expensive. So this little foil packet of you know the together packet was two dollars and sixty six cents if I would have purchased this together. $1.33 if I purchased just the shampoo or just the conditioner. And the full size of this is like $45 or something ridiculous. So I won't repurchase it because of the price, but I would love to get another sample of it. It was nice. Then I have the Nug face mask in the hydrating formula with Camila seed oil and spirulina. I always pronounce that wrong. Um, extract intensively hydrates and replenishes dry and dehydrated skin. So I get about three uses out of these Nug masks and I really, really like this one. I honestly haven't tried any other Nug masks to be totally honest with you, but this one I really enjoy. It's so hydrating. It's so light on the skin. When I rinse it off, it's just like 
it feels so soft i don't know i really do like this i have some more of these little samples and i would totally repurchase this this sample costs three dollars and 99 cents which in the scheme of masks isn't too bad but i mean i got three uses out of this i guess i could stretch it to four so i could probably stretch it to four which would be like a dollar a mask which isn't expensive at all um in the realm of masks but yeah i would repurchase this it was a good one the next one is actually a little perfume sample and it is from versace it is the bright crystal eau de i always pronounce these weird eau de toilette and it's not like the perfume but it smells really it smells really nice it smells very um mature but like I don't know like musky floral mature is what I is what I can attribute it to I will leave the link to this Versace down below so if you guys want to look it up and look up the fragrances or the top notes and um, like main notes of it you guys can but yeah I really did like this little sample I it didn't last very long at all on my skin it did go really well with my skin chemistry though which I really appreciated and when I smelled it like after I had sprayed it and I forgot I sprayed it and I smelled it again on me it smelled really nice but I don't think I would purchase this ever it was nice to have as a sample though I would totally use another sample of that then I got the Tony Moly peach hand cream from an ipsy bag as a sample and this little sample is only 0.35 fluid ounces oh the versace if i would have purchased this little sample it would have been a dollar and 58 cents so that's a pretty expensive little perfume sample in my opinion but this little tony moly hand cream i got multiple uses out of it it was great i squeezed it to the very last drop i'm actually trying to squeeze it right now to get a little bit more out of it but i can't get any more it smells so good if you're into peach scents which i know a lot of you aren't because of the whole two-faced peach thing going on but if you're into peach scents this one's fantastic like truly it's good i got a little bit more out of it so i'm just rubbing it on my hands right now but it is so good it smells like Oh, it smells like those candy peaches that come in those little bags that were like the, not rubbery, but like the gummy candy peaches. Oh, God, I used to eat those all the time as a kid. Do you guys remember those? I can't eat them now because my teeth are too sensitive for that kind of like chewy gummy type stuff. But this little sample was $4 and it was 0.35 fluid ounces. If you were to purchase the full size, it was pretty expensive. Like... For a hand cream, I think the full size is only one ounce. It seems expensive for being the one ounce that it was. I don't know. I don't think I would repurchase this, but if I got another sample or if I was at the store and it was on sale, I would probably pick it up. It was really nice. It was really lightweight on the skin. It did not leave the skin greasy or oily at all, which I so appreciated especially in the morning when i just wanted a quick moisture and i didn't want to feel sticky because i wanted to do other things oh, so nice god it smells so good <laughs> on to the last so the very last product i have is the verb leave-in mist and this i got multiple uses out of i didn't mark it down because i've had this actually for quite some time it's a very very good leave-in conditioner i have to admit this little sample would have costed me two dollars if i would have purchased it so it's a little bit weird because it's got like a jelly consistency which i didn't i wasn't sure about at first but for me personally because i use a leave-in conditioner every single shower literally without hesitation without fail i will use a leave-in conditioner after every single shower no matter what because my hair needs it and i feel like my hair is better with it um i know if they're gonna work right away literally first use second use i can tell right away if it's gonna work or if it's not going to and i was using this for a little while and then it seemed like it like kind of got like dried up a little bit but then i kind of looked in here and it's like really jelly towards the side so i think it's just getting old to be honest would i repurchase this um i'm not sure i feel like it kind of flattens my hair if that makes sense like my eva nyc really lets my hair stay fluffy and volumized even though i don't do anything to it i just let it air dry most of the time but this one really seemed to like flatten it out so if I was going for that kind of look, I would probably want to use this. But 
truthfully, I really love my Eva NYC um, 10 in 1 Main Magic. And I would use that over this one. So I was just using this one to try to use it up. I really did enjoy it, but I don't think I would repurchase it. I don't know. If it was on like a really good sale at Sephora or something like that, I probably would. But I don't think I will at this time. I'm not putting it on my list at least. I really did like it, but I don't need it on my list. So in total for all of my sample products for the second part of January, it was $15.13, which wasn't as much as the last time, but I still feel like it was a really fair amount. So I'm happy with it. Do I think it could have done better? Yes. Do I still have a ton of samples that I'm literally in the middle of using right now? Yes. So I feel like next month in February, I'm going to have so many empties. It's not even going to be funny, but yeah, so that was my final numbers. So in total for January, I used up 14 items, which I think is amazing. My first set, I used up $29.07. My second set, I used up $15.13, which is almost $45 worth of samples for the month. So I think I did a fantastic job. Like I said, my partner in crime did a little bit better than me, but I'm trying to work up to her status because she is freaking amazing. But anyways, Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're still enjoying this series and I will continue it on in February. Like I said, I plan to have so many more sample empties in February because I have so many I'm using right now. I can do it. I'm so excited. Anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye.